are going to make roasted potato skins. That's right, potato skins are my favorite part of the vegetable, and you don't want to waste them when you are peeling a potato for some other use. So I'm going to show you an easy way to not only peel the potato and get it ready for some other recipe, but how to use those skins for a delicious snack or side dish. So let's get started. <laughs> Please do not use a knife or the oven or stovetop for cooking unless you have permission from an adult and even better yet, supervision. Um, it has happened in the past. Grease fires started at home, knife cuts that we've had even in the classroom um, or kids have had to go have stitches. It's this is serious stuff, so please take it seriously. Make sure you have someone around to back you up in case something happens. Please don't do this at home alone. Thank you. Let's get started. To be using a chef's knife for this. Remember the safest maximum control way to hold your chef's knife is to put your thumb on the blade and your forefinger on the other side of the blade and to grip it around the handle. This will give you maximum control. The other hand is the hand that you are going to be handling the potato with and make sure that you are always curling your fingers down and away from the blade when you are cutting. So these potatoes are just your everyday russet potatoes and the first thing I want to do when working with something round, like a potato or a carrot, is I want to square off one side so that it's stable and I'm not dealing with something possibly rolling out from under me and getting away from my knife or from me and getting me in the way of the knife. So this potato is quite large. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half first. So my fingers are curled back. I'm holding my knife with the correct grip and I'm going to start by my tip down on the board and follow through with the back third of the knife. This back third of the knife is where you get your most power. So chop down with that, set this aside. So now I've still got a roly poly potato, but I'm going to cut off about a one eighth inch portion off the side of the potato. So again, I'm gonna look over the edge and make sure that I'm not cutting off a massive amount. Basically, I just wanna cut the skin off and a tiny bit of the flesh underneath the skin, but not too much. So curled fingers back, my thumb is behind the potato, out of the way. And I'm just going to estimate, start with the point and then follow through with the back of the knife. Okay, now I have this nice flat spot. I'm gonna put it over on the flat side and this spot, this is something that I'm gonna actually roast. Do not throw this away. Okay, so let's try it again. Push down with the front of the knife, follow through with the back. Turn it over onto its flat side. Front of the knife, follow through with the back. As you can see, my pieces are about one eighth, no more than a quarter inch thickness. Final side here, thumb back, fingers curled, point with the front, follow through with the back. Okay, next step, we have our bowl of potato skins. Now we want to take a little olive oil and you're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the potatoes. And then you're going to toss them so that they're coated with oil. This is not a science. You just want enough 
to coat the potatoes and you don't want them swimming in oil. So just drizzle a little. If you need more, you can add more later once they're on your pan. Wipe my hands, all that olive oil. And then I have some kosher flake salt here, which is my favorite, but any kind of salt will do. And you can also use Lowry seasoning salt, garlic salt, whatever you like. And just sprinkle salt over the top of your potatoes. Give them another toss. And then we're going to layer these potatoes on our baking sheet so that they are not touching. If they touch and they're super crowded and they're on top of each other, they're going to steam, they're not going to roast, and they won't be as crisp. They'll still taste fine, but they won't be crispy. So I'm gonna lay them down, um, the flesh side down first, in a single layer in my pan. And if I have too many potato skins, I can always get another pan, get as many pans as you need, depending on how many potato skins you have. I'm going to take these over to the oven and I'm going to roast them for 15 to 20 minutes or until they are soft and fluffy on the inside and nice and crispy on the outside. Partway through the roasting, you're going to want to take them out, turn them over so they get brown on the other side, add a little more salt if you'd like to, but uh, let's head on over to the stove. Mm -hmm. 